So I went back and I corrected my pattern. Um, I tried to make it look as accurate as possible. So it's a little bit weird, um, again, because I kind of had to do this quickly on my own face. Um, and also I don't recommend, I have, I have lipstick all over it because I should not have been having lipstick on. Um, so definitely if someone could have a clean face, that would be good. Um, but you can see it still looks a little bit bizarre. Um, I feel like everybody kind of does patterns in ways that make sense to them. So mine are still like a little bit messy a lot of the times when I do them, but I still like, I have the line of where my lip is, um, especially because my lipstick is on it. So I definitely know that's what that is. Um, and then I have like my center line and I know um, where my mustache would need to stop. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do something somehow like somewhat in this shape. Um, so basically we're gonna take this um, and by the time I finish like attaching it to the block and stuff, it'll look something like this. And I found this one that I made. Um, and so you can see what I'm talking about with like the blue paper behind it. So sometimes um, I will go in and I will draw it like directly on the paper like I did with this one. Otherwise, um, I'm gonna do um, the other way of doing it that I will sometimes do and that is um, to take it. So I'm gonna use just like a regular wig block and I always try to find the part um, on it that's the flattest. So sometimes I'll use like the sides of them. This is just on the front. Um, but I have taped down just a piece of blue paper. Um, the smoother you can get it, the better. Um, but it's most important that like your lace and your pattern are gonna lay really smoothly. Um, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tape my pattern down onto this. Um, I'm just gonna use clear tape with it. If you can get um, like a matter tape, sometimes that can be better. This one is a little bit shiny, but if you can get the matte one, um, that can be nice because sometimes the Sharpie doesn't necessarily like want to dry as well on things that are a little bit too slippery. Um, but I'm just gonna use a tape that I have and it will be fine. Um, you just have to be careful sometimes because it will want to transfer. So the next step is gonna be um, taping the pattern down and then we are going to um, lay our lace down. Um, so when I'm taping it down, a lot of times I'll just use um, packing tape to do it, um, but you could pretty much use like any kind of clear tape. Um, so I know I mentioned in the other videos how I prefer to use um, blue paper whenever I'm doing stuff like this. Um, I don't know what it is, but I've just found like I've tried to use like green and like a similar um, kind of like color family in tone. I've tried like warmer colors and just something about blue. Um, it's just much easier for my eyes to see. So I've just found um, that I prefer using blue behind it. I know I've seen some people that use like hot pink when they do theirs. Um, it's really going to be like personal preference and personal choice, but for me, um, this particular like shade of blue, uh, shade of blue has gotten a lot. Um, it's just been very helpful for me, I feel like. So um, I went in, I taped that down. Um, it's really good too to have this much like plastic on it. One thing that I have not done that I should probably do um, with all my wig blocks is kind of cover the whole thing in plastic. Um, so I was taught that that's like called like blocking your block. Um, as if you don't and water gets into this, it could get kind of like moldy. Um, and nobody really wants that to happen. So at least this way I have a lot of plastic right here. So that way if it does get wet while I'm ventilating, um, I don't have to worry about it kind of like seeping into the block or anything. So our next step is going to be putting um, our lace down. So um, I have a piece of lace that I have already like pre-cut for this. Um, so I feel like one of the most confusing things can be when you are at this point um, and not really knowing um, like how much lace that you need to use, which direction do you put the lace down. Um, that is still something that I feel like I struggle with constantly when I'm working and I always have to go back and like reference other pieces that I've made and like reference the books and things that I have. Um, so the most important thing to remember when you are ventilating is that you want to make sure um, that you are using the lace like with the grain in the proper direction. So um, the grain of it is whichever way like the little like hexagons or like the little holes in it line up straight. So in the particular piece that I have, um, mine is on a vertical grain because they, um, the holes in the lace line up straight vertically. So it can be horizontally or it can be vertically, but you don't want to just like lay it down anyway. Um, if I laid it down like kind of like random and like diagonal, it's not going to, um, it's just not going to wear the same way as it would as if you're following the grain. Um, so you wanna make sure that you follow the grain. So again, that can either be um, vertical or it can be horizontal. You just have to make sure that um, the holes in it are lined up straight. I know some people who prefer um, like one way versus the other. I feel like I just follow whatever the project was um, and the way I did it the last time. I don't do tons and tons of wig making stuff, especially like I really only work with like facial hair most of the time, um, so I am not, the biggest expert on a lot of this stuff, but um, that is at least the way that I have found to do it. Um, everywhere you work, everyone is gonna have different ways that they prefer to do things and everybody's gonna have different um, 
like methods and you're gonna find things that you prefer so this is just the way um, that I do it the way I started I just kind of looked to examples of the way other things were done um, and I kind of go from there so you want to make sure that um, you cut yourself a big enough piece to where it is going to um, cover your entire pattern um, it you don't need like a huge excessive amount but you have to have enough around it so that you can um, have a little bit of room to work with because you're gonna need a little bit larger than what the actual piece is right and then you also need enough to pin it down securely um, if you don't pin um, your lace down really tightly and it's like shifting around while you're working you're not going to um, be able to make your knots as tightly as you need to so in order to do this I'm just gonna take um, like some little like some little pins um, and I'm just gonna pin this down um, onto here and then um, when you're doing it it's a good idea um, to kind of like I kind of pin um, I don't like pin all one side um, at one time I kind of like go back and forth so like I'll pin it um, from corner to corner and then I will um, kind of just like go back and forth because that way I feel like the tension of it stays equal um, so again, you want to make sure before you start um, that you have your grain going the correct way. And even though like, you know, like I've been doing this and I figured this out before I started, I'm like, let me double check because I do always get nervous um, that I am going to do that incorrectly. Um, and that's why too, it's one of those things that like looking at it on the blue is a lot easier than like if I was just holding this piece of lace over this canvas, I would probably like never really be able to see it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead um, and start pinning this down now that I know that I have um, the grain of it on here correctly um so my pattern I drew is a little bit I feel like I don't <laughs> draw patterns and things all that straight but um I've been doing this enough to where like I can look at something and I can figure out while I'm ventilating it um if it's even or not so if you don't feel like you are in um that position to be doing things like that you want to make sure that you really do take your time um like making sure that it's perfectly even and everything so this is really just something that I am doing um exclusively like for this demo so it's not really anything that needs to be perfect and exact um it's just for fun i'm not planning on wearing a mustache or anything um for anything super serious so i don't necessarily um need it to be totally perfect um but i do want to make sure that it is at least accurate enough that i'd be able to use it for like some kind of project if i wanted to um so i'll just kind of show you the beginnings of um how pinning it down is um, I have a really bad habit sometimes of like bending my pins really horribly when I'm working. Um, so try not to do that. So you can see, um, so this is the way I like to do it where I just kind of go, um, all the way around it and then I just kind of go, um, from side to side and I try to pull it. So that's one thing that you want to do is that you always, when you're pinning it, um, you want to keep a lot of tension in it. You don't want it to be like so tight that it's going to like burst off of the block or something, but it needs to be tight enough that it's not going to be, um, the lace is not going to be moving around when you're working. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and finish pinning this and then we're going to do a couple videos that are just going to demo um, how you ventilate and how you make knots.